all right well hey everyone how's it going sean here with another janitry solar video and in this video we are going to be taking a look at a new make sky blue charge controller this is obviously an mppt solar charge controller before i get into that a 33 janitry toll free monday through friday nine to five nine to five eastern time Eastern Daylight Time, I do not answer phone calls, text messages, or emails outside of those hours. And, of course, GenitreSolar.com, where you'll find power jack converters, spare parts, replacement parts, Wi-Fi boards, which you can hear in the background, cooling my whole house inverter, custom build inverters, as I mentioned, Wi-Fi boards, as well as new Genetry Solar control boards, and soon Genetry Solar inverters. So, I am working with Sean Buckner at Make Sky Blue USA uh, for solar panels. You can also check those out at MakeSkyBlueUSA.com. Sean Buckner is based in the United States. He does sell Make Sky Blue charge controllers as well as services these locally. And uh, yeah, I, just as a disclaimer, I have purchased all of my charge controllers that I currently use for my system so these make sky blue charge controllers come in several variations as you can see 30 amps to 60 amps currently some of them do come with Wi-Fi enabled so you'll be able to check the status of your solar charge controller over the internet these in particular do not I already have a Wi-Fi monitoring system for mine, so I don't need the Wi-Fi. So this is version 118. Make Sky Blue regularly updates their charge controllers to address any concerns, bug fixes, or anything else like that. If you need service or an upgrade, just get a hold of Sean Buckner at Make Sky Blue, and he can arrange to have your unit updated. Now, uh, so uh, I just got these in. I actually got in four because I'm expanding my system. So I'll have a total of actually five of these on the wall and one as a backup. I highly recommend that you get one as a backup. Even the best stuff out there can fail. Having one backup on hand means that your system doesn't go offline if you lose a part of your system because the charge controller itself fails or is damaged by lightning or whatever else the case might be. So... Uh, this controller here is uh, basically the, the latest version as of this video. Pretty, uh, you know, basic box. So let's go ahead and open this up. I went ahead and cut the tape already, but I haven't opened it. Inside of the box, you are greeted with a manual that will tell you the basics of, of course, installation. Some more information here on specs it'll handle 60 volts or excuse me 60 amps maximum whatever the voltage is 60 amps is your limit so obviously uh, you need to keep all that in mind when you're purchasing these I believe that uh, they'll handle well over 100 volts so whatever your PV array is in my case mine typically runs at about 80 volts it'll step that down for the batteries it is an MPPT charge controller, so it will be able to extract as much sunlight as possible to convert that into usable energy for your batteries. So there's your manual. It's pretty decently packed. You've got foam, obviously. These are mounting brackets here. These allow you to mount it to a surface of your choice. Here's the screws in order to mount it. And then here's the charge controller itself. Pretty well packed. And there it is. Don't know what that number six means, to be honest. We'll go ahead and peel this off to reveal the charge controller itself. And there you have it. So, obviously, you'd have to read the instructions as far as how to connect this yourself. It will accept up to 10-gauge 
wire, that's 10 AWG wire, and there are two connections per station here. So your PV positive has two connections, so you can have up to two 10 gauge wires. PV negative, your battery positive, your battery negative. This is a small output here. I believe it's limited to five amps, but you can have a small output for something separate. Um, I personally don't use that. Um, there's uh, obviously more wrap around here. This is what it looks like on the back. This LCD screen um, has uh, several programming options to be able to set your battery type. You can set your absorption, your float, your battery type, etc. to be able to tweak your system exactly what you need for your particular batteries. Every battery type is different, so your needs may be different than mine, so you are able to set that how you wish. So it does have several options here for that, all of which is laid out in the instruction booklet. The newest versions allow you to be able to calibrate your battery bank to the charge controller. Some of us, it's critical that we have a perfectly calibrated setup because of longevity reasons for our batteries, depending on battery type, etc. So you can, with the later versions, calibrate these to whatever voltage it is. You get a multimeter at the posts. You tell the charge controller exactly what the battery voltage is. It is calibrated that way. You get a perfect float and absorption voltage. There are several other options here. It shows you output, etc., etc. Pretty simple, pretty basic, and it works great. I've used these charge controllers for a couple of years now, and I absolutely love them. And I'm glad that uh, they're actually <laughs> very reasonably priced. So, yes, I love these charge controllers. I'm not just saying that because I have them in front of me. I legitimately am just blown away at just their performance, and they're cheap. So, I mean, that's always a good thing. You know, there's that old saying that you get what you pay for, but in this case, you know, you get a lot of bang for the buck here. I've been very happy with all my charge controllers, and I keep adding to my system. And fortunately, these charge controllers can all be worked together with separate arrays into the same battery bank. And so you can have a array of 100 watt panels, an array of 200 watt panels, an array of 300 watt panels. As long as each array is unique to itself, then you can have three charge controllers charging the same battery bank. They all work together. It's actually pretty fascinating watching it work. It works really, really well. So there you have it. This is just going, you know, this is just a quick unboxing. Um, you guys can see more of my videos on the Make Sky Blue charge controllers. Um, I will be adding more to my system, and you can see how they work. Uh, again, you can get a hold of these for a very good price. Sean Buckner, Make Sky Blue USA. Dot com. He also sells solar panels as well as some other things. So head over there, tell him I sent you. Please tell him that Sean at Genetry Solar sent you to Sean Buckner at Make Sky Blue. Alrighty. Hopefully this video was at least somewhat informative to give you a good idea of what is included in the box. If you have any questions, let me know. 833 Genetry, toll free Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. That's 9 to 5 Eastern Daylight Time. GenetrySolar.com. That's where you can find power jack inverters, solar panels, which are sold by Sean Buckner at Make Sky Blue USA, Wi Fi boards for your power jack inverters, and soon our own inverter line, our very own Genetry Solar inverter line. I'm super excited. I'm also super excited to show you these new inbox controllers. I promise you, you will be incredibly happy and you get service in the United States. Local service. You have a problem with this inverter, you give Sean Buckner a call. He will take care of you. He's a very knowledgeable, highly respectable gentleman, and I'm glad that I'm actually working with him. So, again... 
Thanks for all of your support, as always, and take care.